They've taken the land from us. Got our, all our gold and silver. Okay, they're, they're feasting over us, man. Okay, in great pride. Okay, but the Mosiah is, like I said, just like, like this, is set up this kingdom for its fall. Okay, and, and it's, it's coming to its time now. Okay, and like I said, all you got to do is turn on the news, man, and see where this place is heading towards, man. This, this place is already chaotic and is gone to shit. Okay, but, you know, this place is heading into war too, man. Okay, this place gets more and more unrighteous and wicked as, you know, every day that goes by. Okay, and it's heading closer and closer to war. Okay, that's the answer to this, man. The prophecies are the answer to this. Okay, and all we do is watch and observe, okay, and we relate them to the scriptures, man, to the prophecies. Okay, that's the writing on the wall, on the wall right there. Okay. This is Joel chapter uh, 14 verse 5. So seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Okay, like I said, this, this kingdom has a limited amount of time, man. It, it can't go on forever. This isn't the Lord's kingdom. This place has to go down. Okay, so there's a real amount of time that he has. Right? So seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Okay, he can't rule for a day, a minute, an hour longer. Than what's been uh, given to him, man, by the heavenly Father. Okay, when that time is up and everything is 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 finished, his kingdom will be no more, and he will never. His so-called white man, the Esau, will never rule again. None of these nations will ever rule again. Okay, it's over. Okay. This is Joel chapter twenty, verse twenty-two. It says, "In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him." Okay, so like I was saying, how, how, how they basically, they revel in our, in our oppression, okay, and their victories over us, okay. Basically, all their, all their plans, they, they, they've succeeded, you know, in, put, in putting in place, okay, coming to this um, new world order, okay. As he, as he gets ever, ever, ever closer to it, as, he, as he's about to achieve what he... I set out to do. Okay, enslave the whole world with the RFID chip. Okay, create these essentialized uh new world order. That's when everything's gonna turn on its head for him, man. Okay, and, and his destruction will come. Alright, so in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Okay, so he he you know he saw it ain't gonna ultimately accomplish his his uh his end game his goal okay because the most side is going to take him out before then okay but he's going to get close and he, he think he <laughs> he going to achieve what he set out to do okay this is uh, isaiah 47 we'll read from verse one right it says come down and sit in the dust o virgin daughter of babylon Sit on the ground, there is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be, shalt, shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Okay, so like I said, this represents uh, America, man. Okay. Right now, America is that glory of kingdoms, you know, as of this moment in time. Okay. Even though it's in decline, it's still the head nation upon the, on the planet Earth right now. Okay. Says um. Says take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the fire and pass over the of the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Okay, all 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 the nastiness. Okay, all the shame. Basically, what the nakedness represents. All the shame should be uncovered. All the shameful things about America have been coming out, man. Okay, showing you, man, that that place is is nothing but. Wickedness, man. Persona, you know, <laughs> personified. If I can use that kind of that kind of term, right? But it's full of nothing but wickedness and, and evil, man. Okay, and that place needs to be destroyed. All right? It says, "Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. I will not make meet thee as a man." So, okay, this is talking about when the Lord turns up, man. He ain't gonna. He's not coming back as a a a, a mere mortal, <laughs> like he did, you know. 
2,000 years ago, man. Okay, he's gonna come in his angelic power, man. Okay, and he's gonna do some damage. Okay. Um, so sit thou silent, verse, sorry, verse 5, so sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Okay. <clears throat> says, I was rough with my people, I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Okay, we're under captivity under the so-called white man. Okay, the, 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 the Israelites, man, we are in, in slavery to this day. Okay. It says, um, thou, thou didst shew them no mercy upon the ancient, has thou, thou, thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Okay, so like I said, they put us into slavery, man, and 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 <laughs> killed us, murdered us, you know, raped us, you know, do all kinds of manner of wickedness against us, and and continue to do that. Okay, like I said, they showed us no mercy, man. Okay, and thou hast said this, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou just does not lay these things to thy heart, neither just remember the, the latter end of it. Okay, so you don't consider all this wickedness that you've done. Okay, we try to tell you out there on the highways and byways, but you don't want to hear that. You don't want to pay for 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 your, your crimes, man, against the, the against the Israelites. Okay, you don't want to you know pay for slavery or receive justice. Okay, but you have to, man. <laughs> you didn't think back then all well, the, the things that were gonna come upon you, okay. Until the prophets turn up and then tell you what your judgment is according according to those ways, man. According to those wicked deeds that you did. Okay. Uh, it says, Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood they should come upon, upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sources and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Okay, so your destruction is going to come swiftly, man. Okay, you ain't going to be that lady of kingdoms. You ain't not going to be that head kingdom on the earth no more, man. Okay, you're going to be destroyed in the coming days. When World War Three kicks off, man, okay, that, that's, that's, that's going to be, the, 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 well... I say when it kicks off. Okay, we're already in it. But, you know, when, when we get down to the real fighting, okay, America's going to be destroyed, man, and it ain't going to take too long to be, for it to be destroyed. Okay, because this is going to be a thermonuclear war, man. This, America's going to be destroyed with fire. Okay, just as it's prophesied, man. Okay. I'm going to jump to verse 11. It says, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, that thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. A mission shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not thou shalt not know. Okay. You, you're at the end of, of this kingdom, man. Okay, like I say, as we draw closer to World War Three, man, you're you're coming closer and closer to the end of your kingdom. Okay, and the most high is gonna gonna drop you, okay, and translate the kingdom. To his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and to his other sons, the Israelites, man. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. All, 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 all this uh, uh, back of back and forth, you know, power struggling between the different nations, man, ain't gonna matter no more. Okay, there's only there's only gonna be one ruler, man, and that's Yahweh Shai, and the nation of Israel. Okay, them fake gutter rats in the land of Israel today, they, they're going to be destroyed. Okay, the only thing that's going to matter are, 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 you know, this word, man. Okay, the, our Lord. Right? Um... We're going to read verse 14, right? It says, Behold, they should be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor a fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast laboured, even thy merchants from thy youth 
that he shall wander everyone to his court and none shall save thee. Okay, so like I said, man, America is going to be destroyed with that thermonuclear fire. Okay, and there ain't going to be no help. There ain't going to be no one to save you, man. Okay, because the truth is, all your allies are going to turn their backs on you, man. Okay, and they're going to add, <coughs> add to your destruction. Okay. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay, so we're heading into a time that has never never occurred upon the earth in terms of, of its severity. Okay, like I said, you know, there's a, there's, you know, World War III is going to be going on, but there's so much gonna be else that's going to be going on too, man. Okay, the day of the Lord is terrible, man. Okay, so, like I said, you know, this kingdom is going to go uh, out with violence. Okay, and it's going to be very violent, man. Okay, but like I said, it, it can't, con this place can't continue, man. It, you know, the trend that is on now is, is down. Okay, it's, it's heading into its last phase, man. We're in its last phase. We're in the end days, man. Okay. <clears throat> this is Second Peter chapter three verse ten, right? It says, "But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night." Okay, swiftly. Okay, and it, and it's gonna sneak up on people, man. They're not gonna know like how we got to this got to this place. The one minute it seemed okay, you know, we, you know, there's wars and all that, talking about war and all this kind of stuff, but. They never thought it could happen, because <laughs> you know it's unthinkable for a lot of people, man. They they, they think they, it'd be ludicrous for anybody to to do or launch such a, such, uh, such a warfare because of the because of the of the destruction and the loss of life. But it's gonna come to be, man. Okay, and it's gonna take people by surprise. This is um in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. Okay, that's the nukes, man, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And also, so and the earth also, and the works that that are therein shall be burnt up. Okay. So, like I say, it's going to come as a thief in the night. Okay, and this scripture says um, the same. I'll we'll get this as well. It's First Thessalonians chapter five verse two. Uh, it says, uh, "For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night." Okay, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall uh, sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that they should overtake you as a thief. Okay, why? Because we long sides open our mind up to these scriptures, man. Okay, we're the ones watching for these things. We're the ones out there speaking about these things. We're out here telling you the people, you know, this, these nations' judgments according to what they've done. Okay, because the most I require. Uh, payment okay and that payment comes in the fashion of sacrifice man and that is of your own blood okay and your servitude man because those of you that don't die in this world war three man they're getting put into slavery and you're and you're going to shed blood serving us in slavery so the balance has to be uh be made man and the most is well yeah and yahweh shai is coming to correct that balance man Okay, because too much wickedness has been gotten away with against the children of Israel. Okay, and you've not paid for any of that yet. Okay, so you know this is what this is what's going to happen, and we tell people out here, you know, what's coming to pass, why your kingdom's going down. Okay, but they don't want to face the facts. They don't want to acknowledge it, man. You know. The scripture tells you, man, who's possessed to slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Okay, they're trying to run up, run around from, uh, 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 run away from that, man. Okay, but the law requires a, a sacrifice, man. Okay, and that's that's what's gonna 